Alright guys, it is a kind of a cloudy gloomy day here in the end times in paradise here in uh, in Mendocino County, California where my little stoner dog has his new tiara. I like his newest uh, Mendocino Matahari tiara. But anyway, it is Wednesday. A cool, foggy Wednesday, July 26, 2017, here in, here in Paradise, and I'm supposed to be bringing you my weekly, uh, I say it's July 26, 2017, I believe, I'm supposed to be bringing you my weekly climate change meltdown roundup rant, but I just did one of those on Saturday, so there's not much to report, so we're going to hold off, I'll come back with that today. Because I am thrilled to say I have some good news to report, some hallelujah, praise Jesus reports uh, from the mainstream media. I'm surprised none of you, none of my Alert Tribes members have sent me this, many versions of this uh, story. This is some outfit called the Seeker. I just dove into one. The sperm counts of Western men have declined dramatically. Alarming experts. I, I want to know what expert is, is alarmed by the single greatest piece of news I have read in the mainstream media since, uh, when was it, since some elephant stomped some big game hunter to death. I think another elephant stomped somebody to death a couple of days ago. You know, Alex Jones has been screaming and ranting about the declining sperm rates uh, driving humans into extinction for years, and maybe Alex actually is on to something. Let's see. The average Western man's sperm count has fallen by about 60% in the last 38 years, sparking anxiety about what this might mean for humanity's future. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, thank God uh, what, what it might mean is uh, the, the end of humanity's future, so any real expert can be celebrating. Uh, of course, as, as all of these stories are talking about, though, it seems to be kind of limited to honky, which may or may not uh, have something to do with why, why the the birth rate in, in some honky countries is declining. Now, uh, well, let's just go through the good news, and then we'll get to the bad news. Okay. As far back as 1992, scientists uh, have been claiming that there's been a steady decline in the quality of men's semen over the preceding 50 years, uh, and now a comprehensive new study has emerged to support the research from decades ago. Hallelujah! The latest study was a meta-analysis of English language studies on sperm count and concentration. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The, the findings, the researchers say, are unnerving. I would say the findings are absolutely cause to celebrate. One of, one of the few reasons on the planet to be celebrating uh, this new study. Hallelujah. Uh, after combing through the voluminous material, the researchers found a large decrease in sperm quality among men from North America, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. 
uh, you know, otherwise known as honky. And the drop, the drop was particularly notable among men who had never had kids. There you go. And, and these men, researchers found, a 52.5% drop in sperm concentration and a 59.3% decrease in total sperm count over the past 40 years. There you go. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I love this, guys, when I was researching this. You know how Google, when you're searching, they always try to race ahead? And I was putting in uh, this stuff about sperm counts and whatnot. And, and one of the things that, uh, that Google said, are you, know, are you looking for, do sperm counts decline after vasectomy? This is for, for people not understanding whether or not sperm counts decline uh, after vasectomy. So anyway, it sounds like with at least the, the, these honkies who have never had these little bundles of joy, we are well on our way to our goal of a 100% decrease in total sperm count. Now, of course, they're... Uh, there, oh, another. There's more. Let's just finish with the good news before the bad news. Hallelujah. Uh, the authors of the study also pointed out the fact that the decline does not seem to be leveling off. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, there you go. Here in the U.S., the birth rate is down to 12.4 babies per 1,000 per 1, people, down from 14.8 in 1973. There you go. Uh, let's see. That, of course, there... They're still looking at the reasons for this. Authors speculate it is due to environmental and lifestyle causes, including pesticides, smoking, and obesity. The research did not establish any causal links. This is one of the authors. Hallelujah. This is Dr. Levine. I don't know Dr. Levine's first name, but I absolutely love this quote. Whoever Dr. Levine is, quote, if we will not change the ways that we're living and the environment and the chemicals that we are exposed to, I am very worried about what will happen in the future warning ominously that, quote, it may be the extinction of the human species. Hallelujah. There you go. Uh, now, now, of, now, of course, for the small print of the study, what this actually means is that every time a guy, uh, you know, depending on whether uh, where he's jacking off or coming, what this really means, and, th and this is really what the small print they save. So what th that means now is now every time a uh, one of these clueless fucking morons uh, ejaculates into the pussy uh, of a viable woman that he is ejaculating only 47 million sperm. It's down, so you, you get this, what it translates to is now that every time a guy comes, he's, on, he's only producing 47 million chances at, at just one of 47 million uh, hitting the jackpot. 
Uh, so of course that is the uh, the bad news. Their bottom line. So don't worry. While the data does indicate that sperm count is mysteriously declining, the human race is going to be sticking around a while longer. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's bullshit. Well, with nothing to do. Uh, the, the extinction of the, of the human race has nothing to do with declining sperm rates is what they're saying. And then, of course, the other really bad news, uh, the, probably the worst no-shit Sherlock news, the researchers did not find the same uh, sperm reductions from men in Latin America, Asia, and Africa. Clearly, there there is no lack of sperm count in uh, in those goddamn places. Um, anyway, I'm looking at this article in Scientific American. Uh, kind of repeat many versions of this, many versions of this. Hallelujah, good news that uh, we are making progress. Mother Nature is bringing out her boom. It is called Karma. And anyway, now of course, I have a zero sperm count because uh, of my vasectomy, and of course the little dog has a zero perm sperm count too because he has no little sperm makers at all. Anywho's, uh, I think I smelled dinner on the stove, but I think I got time for one more not so good, not, not so good, no Sherlock rant. But for this, fuzzy wuzzy, feel good, Rant. Smoke them if you got them. Bye, guys.